What is up YouTube, XX Solutions here and today I am bringing you another tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install dev menu and install eShop game titles on your Nintendo Switch. Now this is pretty awesome as you can basically use game updates and also use the eShop game titles and run them. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to your Nintendo Switch and download Pokemon Quest. Now Pokemon Quest is going to be a game donor which basically allows us to run the dev menu inside of Pokemon Quest. Pokemon Quest is a free game on the eShop as well as a few others that you can use but in this tutorial I am going to be using Pokemon Quest. It's not too big and it's free on the eShop so be sure to download that before you start this tutorial. Once you've downloaded it, you can see that the icon is on screen. All we're going to want to do now is power down our switch. So press and hold the power button and then simply choose the power options and then power off. Once we've done that, we can flip our switch around and we're going to flip the kickstand up and eject our SD card that's inside. This is very important. Obviously, this requires an SD card if you don't already have one of those. Once your SD card is ejected and inserted in your computer, all you're going to want to do is head over to the description below and download SX os.rar. Simply save it to your desired location and we're going to extract that. Once extracted you'll see a folder that looks like this. Simply go inside of here and you'll see another folder that says SXOS titles and then the title ID of Pokemon Quest. Make sure that this is set to the correct title ID. If this is a different game you can also use a different game title ID. I believe you can use Fortnite and a free other game demos on the eShop but for this tutorial I'm sticking with Pokemon Quest as I know it works. Once you know that everything is inside all we're going to want to do is head over to our switch's SD card. Now as you can see this is the root of my SD card. All you're going to want to do is head over to the folder, double click on it and simply drag SXOS into the root of your SD card. Now if you do want to download and install eShop game titles and updates I can't show you exactly where to get them but there are many many forums and websites available to you. I have a couple of NSP files here which you can see which is basically the eShop game file. So if you place that also on the root of your SD card this will basically show up inside of dev menu which you'll see later on in the video. So for this tutorial I am going to be using the NSP file for Celeste. Celeste is a eShop game and it's very very cool indeed so we're going to see if that works later on in the video. Once you've placed the SX folder and you've got your desired game in the root of your SD card we can go ahead and right click on it and click eject. Once ejected all we're going to want to do is head over back to the switch and simply put the SD card back into our switch and flip the kickstand down. Flip it back around and we're going to take off the red Joy-Con which is where the 3D printed jig's going to go so I'm simply taking that off there as you can see and I'm sliding the 3D printed jig all the way down so it meets the contact for the pins. In the bottom I am going to be placing the SXOS into the type USB port and now I'm going to hold the power plus and power button at the exact same time for three seconds and you should see that screen flicker and you may even see the free option screen that allows you to boot into the custom firmware so if you do get that screen be sure to click custom firmware and it will basically load the exact same thing. So for me however I did actually skip that. Once booted up we can actually take the 3D printed jig out and the SXOS, simply slide the Joy-Con back in the rail and now we're inside of custom firmware. So all I'm going to do now is head over to the album and see if we have successfully loaded custom firmware and as you can see we have the SXOS running on our Nintendo Switch and so I know that we now have Pokemon Quest also going to run the dev menu. Simply click on it, choose your profile and hopefully if you're lucky you should see this screen. This is the dev menu SDK app and it basically has a whole bunch of stuff in here which is pretty cool indeed but all we're going to be focusing on is installing NSP files. So if you go to the very top where it says application you can install from SD so hit A on that and you'll see the NSP files that are on the root of your SD card. All you'd want to do is simply press on it and install it. It's as simple as that. Once you've installed it we can go ahead and simply go back to the home screen and you should see Celeste there or whatever game you're running simply hit on it run it and if you are lucky you should now have the full eShop game running on your Nintendo Switch so that's pretty cool indeed obviously once you've installed it from the dev menu you don't have to keep installing it again it will stay there on the home screen and you can carry on just playing it as normal just by clicking on it so that is pretty cool indeed so you can actually download game updates for games as well I don't actually have any game updates for this game so when I started it it did say download the update however you can just press start software and it will basically skip the update and play on the current version so that is that's pretty much it guys, I hope I've helped in a way, comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.